Okay, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Chi Min Pong. I'm a moderator of these sessions. And uh, the topic of this session is uh, talking about the international open data. Uh, I just come back from Argentina for in international open data conference. And uh, it's twice a year. And uh, you know, the international open data conference is quite interesting, a lot of topics. But what I found in the G0 V summit this year, also very international. So uh, for example, the T tri I also met him in Argentina. So one week later, we are here in Taiwan. So it's very international here. And uh, uh, we have three talks, and each talk will be 20 minutes. And later on, and each uh, speaker can be on the stage, and we can have a discussion about uh, international open data things. But I know some of the talk is very local, but the some, some local things probably can be more international about these issues. So uh, we one the first speaker will speak English, then later on the two speakers will use the uh, Chinese. And uh, uh, all of you can maybe, you can see the G0V website to find uh, 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 maybe English or Chinese uh, something. And okay, and uh, the first speaker is the Citri. He, f he come from the uh, Cambodia, very far away, but it's very close to Taiwan, I think. And uh, uh, we never heard about the Southeast Asia open data, especially from like Cambodia. But we have an uh, Asia open data partnership. Uh, we established it about three years ago. Each year we will have a conference. And uh, I'm, I just uh, chance I met uh, Citra. And uh, okay, uh, Citra, the floor is yours. Okay, welcome. Thank you for the moderator. Um, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Titri. I'm uh, Executive Director for Open Development Cambodia. So I will talk today for the uh, Open Data Project in Cambodia and also in the Mekong region and um, about ODC uh, project implementation and also what are the challenges around Open Data Community and Open Data Project in Cambodia and also in the Mekong region. So um, Open Development Cambodia is a local organization and we uh, um, implement the project in 2011. So at the time, we launched our first uh, platform in, in Cambodia. And it is kind of the unique uh, platform in South Asia because um, a lot of uh, uh, there is some platform about open data in, in um, uh, Asia as well. But uh, the way that ODC operates is a little bit different and uh, why it's unique. And uh, I will t talk uh, more about that. So um, in 2008, so this is the, the, the year that we start um, uh, thinking about the, the open data project in, in Cambodia. So in 2008, a lot of uh, booming in terms of um, economic and uh, development. So a lot of uh, development projects, uh, for example, like mining, uh, um, oil and gas development, special economy zone, hydropower dam uh, um, project uh, happened in, in our country. And uh, at the time, uh, there is a discussion and research uh, found out that the lack of information sharing. So not only uh, uh, between the civil society and civil society, but also like between civil society and government, especially for private sector and community looking for the data set and information to be part of their uh, project implementation, to be part of their discussion or research. So uh, we, uh, we, did, uh, we collect the data set um, um, around social and economic development uh, and a lot of data is uh, available but it's not in one place and we organize and we collect uh, and make it available on, on our website. So, um, uh, so in order to address the, those issues, we uh, come up with one solution. It's it about, uh, you know, like build and disseminate the information through website and, uh, and use technology to be part of their uh, process uh, to disseminate and aggregate the data and make it available for public. So yes, our solution is we develop the online interactive map and also infographic to uh, inform the public and also promote the fact-based uh, open dialogue in the development context in, uh, in Cambodia and also in, in uh, the Mekong region. Uh, currently, we have around uh, uh, 55,000 uh, uh, unique uh, monthly visitors for uh, ODC website and around 55% of uh, uh, 
uh, over return uh, visitor. So it is a good sign for us and motivate our team to uh, implement and also uh, aggregate more data and make it available on our, uh, our platform. Uh, our target audience for the website, of course, uh, uh, everyone can access internet. Uh, they can uh, uh, use our resource for uh, 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 their project implementation, or it depends on their purpose of the project implementation. And we uh, classify like citizen and also uh, civil society, investor, researcher, journalist, and also policy maker. So a lot of uh, 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 like. Uh, user, for example, like uh, both uh, at the community level and also civil society, including government, they use our resort to uh, inform their uh, their dialogue and also discussion, especially for the community who looking for the evidence base to uh, 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 inform their uh, activity at the uh, or what happened in the reality in the community level. So they they also find out our website is really useful. So the website uh, it's available for both Khmer and English language. So uh, our uh, uh, official language is uh, Khmer. So we have uh, like Khmer and and English. So all the website um, in our country uh, in over five country there. At the, the same uh, 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 like English and Khmer. So currently, uh, after the successful project of implementation Open Development Cambodian, we expand our project to the region. So we we have uh, Open Development uh, Thailand, Open Development Myanmar, Open Development Laos, and also Open Development Vietnam. So we have five country platform and plus the regional platform. And the reason why we create, uh, uh, you know, like. Uh, uh, um, uh, five country uh, platform by using only one uh, IT database architecture because we want to encourage and motivate all of our users, especially some users they looking for uh, the current development not only in Cambodia but also in the Mekong region so they can search the data set across the five country along the Mekong region so in, uh, uh, in uh, Vietnam, Laos, uh, Myanmar, uh, Cambodia and Thailand so they can find out the similar uh, 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 data set uh, around 16 and 17 topic area. As I mentioned to you earlier, so one of our uh, solution uh, to uh, inform about the development context in our country, we use the online interactive map. And you can see here the our uh, online interactive map. So uh, if you go to ODC website, you, s you see the the uh, the one of the main um, uh, menus about the map. So there's a, a lot of uh, map layer that we create and it's so the different uh, story. So you, you can see, uh, you know, uh, uh, current, uh, when we talk about development, so most of people, they feel like, oh, uh, the development will be contribute to the economic development. So everybody happy. Uh, but if you look on the reality, what happened uh, at the ground, especially when you try to uh, link from one development to another development project. For example, here I uh, do the screenshot about the uh, community forestry and also uh, mining concession and uh, oil and gas concession. Uh, so you can see how the uh, overlapping between uh, the like community forestry and also mining concession. It might be uh, create some like conflict at the ground, but for us uh, as an open data project, we did not uh, draw the conclusion and we did, not, we did not mention or analyze on our page about why the uh, economic land concession and uh, oil and gas concession or community protected uh, community forestry, it overlap, you know, so we, we let our user to understand what, the, uh, what are the issue and they can do the further analysis. And this is the best option for our uh, like user because m most of our user they say that ODC provide like uh, an option for them and also uh, they can uh, sing or they can create their uh, further research question instead of uh, you know like try to to tell them about the conclusion what is the conclusion of the each sector because people they have different uh, like uh, research purpose so they can analyze further what and why the why the, why it overlap why it uh, it uh, you know like the concession it uh, uh, duplicate or might be conflict to each other. 
and uh, at ODC website, uh, you uh, as you can see, we uh, we uh, also have a lot of uh, uh, map uh, uh, layer. So include uh, not only the the interactive map, uh, but also the uh, we call like download map or JPEG file. So uh, for example, I'm not the uh, I'm not the GIS person. I'm not the uh, IT person might be, uh, I'm looking only for the JPEG file. So I want to download some map layer about, uh, for example, like about the access to uh, health facility. So I can go to ODC website uh, and then you can uh, download the JPEG file. And uh, so, uh, but, but we also provide other uh, format, uh, you know, not only the JPEG file because uh, uh, like GS or ad, uh, like IT, they may looking for different uh, uh, f uh, uh, format of the the document. So in order to meet open data standard principle, we also provide different format for over uh, over audience. Um, go back to the challenge and also the the up, uh, when we start the project at the time we not uh, like uh, fully aware about the. Uh, what are the uh, standard of open data? So basically, in 2011, when we create the platform, we just upload the information and publication from different stakeholders and make it available on our website. But when we, uh, you know, learn about the open data movement, about the open data standard, so we start to review all of our document and also try to create and present different file on our on our website, fill out the metadata, and also looking for. Uh, review on the uh, what are the legal uh, implication or what are the legal issue because n not not all the document that you can uh, download or find uh, on Google is uh, like you can review or republic. So all information that uh, uh, we public on our website, we have to review what are the uh, uh, copyright uh, issue, what are the copyright license. So we have to make sure that we not violate to the, uh, uh, you know, like the intellectual property of the author or of the public, sir, because we, we are part of open data. So we have to ensure everything is meet to the minimum standard. Uh, in uh, our uh, website, not only the uh, topic page or interactive map or profile page, but we also have a law and agreement session. You may know that uh, a lot of discussion, especially among the uh, private sector uh, uh, and uh, about the contract and agreement between private and the government, it's normally uh, people they always consider as a confidential document. And, uh, but this is document very, very important for the civil society and also uh, community to know what the development or what are the benefits of the de development project in, in our country. So we also provide um, the detailed information about the contract and agreement and also law and regulation related to development sector in our country. So you can download here, uh, you can see there is a, uh, it's available in English and Khmer, you can download uh, both um, uh, document on our website. Uh, beside the uh, what we are doing, what we public on our website, you know, uh, not everybody well known about uh, ODC project because uh, the limitation of the internet connection. So ODC also uh, work with our partner and uh, engage with a uh, different, uh, uh, even especially uh, with the ICT community and civil society. For example, we uh, attend uh, bar camp and we also host the Mekong ICT camp last year in Cambodia. So we engage with the community to uh, not only to inform them but also train them how to use our resource and how to connect from the data to the data driven journalism especially for the media and and journalists they looking for the data and how to do uh, how to capture the uh, the or analyze the data to be part of their uh, uh, article of uh, our project implementation we also uh, run like open uh, uh, data day so we start uh, uh, open data, uh, uh, we, we, we start and host the open data days in 2014 and we also translate the open data handbook into local uh, language as well. So uh, we uh, try to, you know, like promote and also uh, inform to our community how the benefit of open data uh, in our country and also in the, in, in the region or globally. Um, uh, yes, so this is uh, like my final uh, slide presentation presentation and also provide some contact if you uh, want to know more about ODC and also want to, uh, 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 you know, like find out what are the possible project collaboration and we can, you can contact to, uh, to me through this uh, 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 
uh, platform and also the the detail contact i just want to uh, have a quick demo on odc website and you know because i just talk on the slide presentation and maybe some of you want to know how the interaction on the real uh, uh, like uh, platform so uh, here we have this is the over home page and uh, this is the uh, sdg project sdg oh sorry i don't know why Yeah, so uh, sorry. Yeah, so this is the 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 ODC website, and you can see here there's a uh, open development Mekong. So we have uh, like you click on the open development Mekong, it will show you the detailed information about uh, the Mekong country, and we have like uh, here with uh, Lao. Uh, Myanmar and Thailand so you can play around with the uh, different uh, map layer and uh, in general of five country platform we use only one uh, like database uh, structure and also the topic area so you can see here this is the topic area that we working so we have main category also of a project implementation we have economic and land uh, and also the uh, uh, like uh, social development so each topic area you can uh, you know like it's it's very useful for uh, a newcomer or investor to our country they want to know what are the development uh, contact on uh, for example like um, uh, agriculture so basically they just go to the topic page and then they can find out the general uh, overview about uh, the topic area and also related uh, like resource and uh, also the topic area under the agriculture so they can uh, uh, you know like follow different uh, research paper they produced by ODC team and also the related uh, like library record so uh, they can go there and then they can see the detailed uh, document this is what I try to mention it unique because uh, some of the platform they just only have only one topic and they not aggregate all the information but here we aggregate uh, different like new and also related resource and also publication from different uh, organization and uh, each topic, uh, uh, you know, all the information on ODC website, we all we currently that we have like clear referencing document. For example, I mentioned to you about the uh, mining development. So if you go to ODC profile on mining and uh, mining license, so you will see the detailed information about the mining company. And you can, uh, if you're interested to see uh, more detail about uh, any uh, company, you can go to the referencing document and then you can uh, download for example i just uh, download one for an example so this is the the download uh, of the license and you can uh, uh, view and also uh, uh, download the original document for your uh, research and um, this is the the document that we refer so some some document is uh, from the government website and also some from a civil society so here there is uh, information about like utm utm point where the mining license located and uh, so in general we currently all the information on our website we have clear referencing document and everybody can use and uh, 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 the original document based on their own purpose so thank you s uh, so much for your um, um, attention and i'm looking forward to hear from you uh, our detailed discussion thank you okay thank you see try uh you know i still we still have uh, maybe two minutes time i have a question because you have six country or five country five working country. together yeah the language is quite different right yes five country five language yes how you make a platform together mm -hmm. uh so as i mentioned to you uh, early so this is the regional platform so the regional platform only have uh, one language so it is uh, english uh, language but if you go to cambodia uh, we have a cambodian uh, 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 language uh, so here uh, you go to Cambodia and we have uh, two icon so we have a, a, Cambo a, a local language and also the English language and for Vietnam and Myanmar also uh, so all the the side it I mean that the team it is manually so it's not like use Google Translate because some website they have only one like English and then they have a, a tool like Google Translate uh, to translate the whole uh, document but here we, we did we did not we use our team um, how to man uh, to make sure that all the document uh, on our website is available for local and also English language 
and but we not do the translation for the for the publication for example is the document from the government only available in Khmer uh, it's a local language we cannot translate the whole document we ca we just only translate the like the title and also summary uh, the the main content only because we afraid that uh, there is some uh, mistake uh, uh, you know like too many errors so that's why we very careful in terms of uh, uh, translate the document except the the topic page that i mentioned to you so the topic page on uh, like I, I mentioned to you uh, the english uh, 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 um, uh, side it's uh, about agriculture and if you click on uh, if you want to see in English you just click on and then it it will be uh, stay on the same page you know you can see here you know so it's it's not uh, some pay some uh, website when you click on the translate to English or my it will bring you to the home page but this this is what we want to make our user easy to cap catch up uh, what the article or story that they are uh, uh, looking for okay uh, is good okay Maybe later on we still have time. Yeah, is it, or maybe short question, please. Is it all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, first of all, thanks, Trey. I think it's super ambitious. Um, I'm Heather, if I hadn't met you. Um, the people in the audience, that is. So I think this is really important, like this idea of like cross-country language work. Um, and I guess my question for Trey is, um, is that in WordPress? Okay. Have you talked to TransFX yet? Mm -hmm. Trans do you know TransFX? Yes, yeah, okay. we do. So TransFX, this, this global translation community um, where people like will translate and work with that as mm -hmm. well as Translator Without Borders, right? And so I think, um, you know, the way that we win in open is building with those communities. And I think you've done a slow burn, right, of trying to just do small steps. But I would hope that the next step is to have that community of practice around translation help you because I think it's really beautiful what you're doing. So just my congratulations, but also that, you know, how can the rest of the international open movement help warmly? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for your advice. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm the currently, I mean, that ODC website, we use uh, like WordPress to, de uh, to demonstrate our site and uh, the back-end uh, system, we use CCAN program, and we also do like, uh, transific, uh, uh, like translation, but we not uh, reach out to the international community. Basically, we uh, done based on our experience and also work with our uh, partner in the Mekong region. So we have over five country partner. So uh, we work uh, with different uh, organization and community. And in general, the project implementation, it contribute by, uh, I call like a partnership and volunteer program. So for the example that I, I just mentioned to you about the, uh, like translate the open data handbook, it is the, the, the contribution from, um, uh, open data community in Cambodia is not only see a loan to translate the whole uh, uh, document so we just engage them through the hackathon even you know during the uh, bar camp and also uh, open data day so now we have uh, open data uh, translate into Cambodia uh, into Khmer and also other country in the Mekong region yeah okay thank you Tishra maybe probably we can talk later on Okay, our next speaker is, uh, okay, thank you, Citra, please, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, welcome, thank you.